Welcome to Kentuckiana Real Talk, hosted by Jeremy Ward. If you enjoy the podcast, please subscribe on the podcast provider of your choice and consider subscribing to the Jeremy Ward Team YouTube channel for more expert real estate insights. Now, let's start the show. Hello, everybody. It's Jeremy Ward with Ward Realty Services, and today I'm here with Daniel Deedlin. He's with Innovators Insurance Company. Daniel uh, and I have worked together here at uh, Ward Realty for about a year now, I think, and I've watched this guy grow his insurance business and then get into the real estate, so uh, it's very interesting to watch him grow. He's done a really good job growing his insurance company and taking care of his clients, and now he's into uh, commercial real estate and commercial insurance as well. Daniel, thank you for coming and talking with us today. Um, I had a chance not too long ago to introduce you and your company to some of my clients, and they've had just some really good things to say about you. So I thought, you know what, let's get you on here and and tell us a little bit about insurance. Yeah, yeah, I appreciate it. We always uh, appreciate working with uh, Pearl. That's how we grow our business. So, yeah, no, it's been great. Um, We, uh, It's kind of a a weird time right now Mm -hmm. in the insurance industry, as you know. That's what I hear. Yeah, it's what they're calling hard market. Okay. Uh, basically, inflation, along with you know several other things that we've been dealing with the last couple of years, combined with some weather events, has made it a challenging time. So, you know, now's I guess more than ever is a good time to talk to an independent agent who has. We have multiple different carriers. We've got some strong companies that we represent, and we're able to kind of find the best option for our people. So, as opposed to be holding to one company, one company. You know, that is a true advantage uh, oh, yeah. to be an insurance broker, to have all those tools in your toolbox, depending on what somebody needs, you can kind of critique that and make a customized plan for them. Yeah. Um, you know, when I, my current insurance agent, same way, he's, he's a broker and it saved me a ton of money over the years with him being able to navigate me in and out of these other companies. I know yeah. you do work with auto owners, which is very strong in our area. Yeah. Uh, they cover rental properties, personal home, a lot of stuff. Yeah, we do a lot with them on the commercial side. Uh, uh, we've got Erie's another really good carrier when it comes to personal lines. They're they're really hard to uh, hard to get a contract with. They're real picky, and uh, you know, I feel like we offer I would say the best of both worlds with the broker. Some people, you know, I like to make the distinction like people think, oh, broker versus an agent. Well, we kind of blend those as an independent agency. We've got the you know people like the either the say the names but you know the ones that the ones that have a farm in the name yeah. that they're like hey i like i like them because i know i can talk to a guy and he's local in an office what it'd be nice if that guy had other choices right so that's that's kind of where we bridge that gap is we have the the big market access that these major companies that are brokers have access to but we're also there's a team of eight of us we're local you call you're not going to get somebody in a cubicle in a right. other state you're going to get casey you're going to get danielle you're going to get austin you're going to get luke you're going to get people that are you know in our community so it's really the, the blend of the two that mm-hmm. i think gives us that well and that was advantage. the problem when i started getting into real estate and buying different properties and stuff the i was with a company that had a farm in the name and yeah and my guy left that company and sure it was it was a big benefit for me because <laughs> right. i could get you know competitive coverage yeah so, no, I totally understand it. I think that's a great thing uh, for the people out there to have a little people kind of competing over the business. Absolutely. Yeah, it's a different dynamic for sure when these companies are coming to you saying, what do we have to do to get you to write more business with us as opposed to, you know, the different Meet dynamic. your quotas. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> so, no, yeah. So that's that's where I got my my training was with, you know, one of those companies. And so... Been, uh, been independent for coming up on eight years now. I was going to say, I remember when you opened and, uh, you know, you you were smart enough. You got with the real estate agents. You kind of was meeting and greeting yeah. and doing a lot of events. And, man, I've just watched you skyrocket your business and I'm seeing you everywhere and just super, super proud of you, man, of what you've been able to accomplish in eight years. It's been amazing. And, and I can speak to your honesty and your integrity. Um, I had a very uh, good friend um, that I was able to recommend you to. Yeah. And uh, he he owns a, a large business, a large facility. And uh, I thought, you know, this guy, Daniel, he's, I told him, I said, Daniel's hungry. Daniel do a good job. He's making integrity. Give him a shot at it. So he did. And uh, so you, you put a lot of work into that. I know yeah. that wasn't just your usual, you know, run the address, see right. what the credit score is, that sort of thing. Like right. there was a lot of, there was so much insurance there. You probably had to 
put that together with several different companies oh, yeah. to cover the whole, the whole, uh, I don't know what you'd call it, but, uh, yeah, his company, you know, right, right. um, and he, he was telling me, he's like, man, my insurance is a half a million dollars a year. And I'm like, what? He's like, yeah, literally we <laughs> finance our insurance throughout the years because it's so expensive. So long story short, I introduced him to Daniel. Daniel went up there and told him what he could do and took all the paperwork, came back. And, and I mean, you worked on that for months, didn't you? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, it was a lot of work, but at the end of the day, you save my client a hundred thousand dollars a year. Yeah, he's happy. Yeah, he's happy with Daniel. So yeah. you're kind of branching into that commercial, yeah. which this is commercial insurance, yeah. uh, and you're looking to pick up more more policies and, and help other people save money. Yes. Yeah, so so we started from scratch. We were a scratch. So I'm glad it seems like a, a rocket ship to you because those first two years were a grind. So we're still grinding. Yeah, yeah. So you know, it wasn't like uh, you know, you know, my dad had an agency and I took or I didn't acquire agent. It was we started. We had zero customers. So it was yeah. You know, going back to what you said, the realtors and the lenders. There were a lot of people along the way that were just very much interested in me succeeding like mm -hmm. through no benefit of theirs even right so i had a lot of help and i'm really fortunate for those people that have always kind of you know i say looked after me and given me a shot and mm -hmm. i'm grateful for that and we built a personal lines team so we still are very much you know we'll take care of your home buyers people who are going through that process home auto life but um yes so my role we're, i'm kind of shifting into i've, I've gotten several you know some designations for mm -hmm. commercial that's my area of focus um and built a commercial team so we've got a commercial division now and that that's really our focus too is you know going and kind of doing the same thing with the relationships with these people like you know yeah gentlemen you were talking about we just you know spend some time with them understand the situation you know what are your pain points what are the problems and that's basically all that I am, I'm just a professional problem solver. Like, right. Let me have all the pieces, put them together. Um, going to do the best I can for you. And at the end of the day, you know, I'm glad it worked out with him. But you know, it just it's like it's, it's, it's work. Yeah, yeah it was. Right. Yeah, and it was. Is that I think that personal touch and yes, you know, me, you, you sticking your neck out for me and saying, hey, this is a friend of mine. Hey, here's Daniel. He's going to do a good job for you. I want to come through on that because that's a reflection of you. So absolutely. Yeah. So well, you made me look good. He was yeah. he was super happy. I don't think you'd left the parking lot before he was calling me and saying, really? "You ain't gonna believe this. <laughs> Your buddy just saved me a hundred thousand dollars a year." I was like, "Well, I mean, I should get like fifty thousand of that, Brian. <laughs> that's a, still good savings, you know." <laughs> right. Let's all go to dinner. Yeah, 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 let's go all. lunch. Yeah. Let's do something. <laughs> Well, on top of being uh, doing commercial yep. insurance, you're actually you know doing a lot of commercial. I won't say a whole lot, but you're starting mm -hmm. to do a lot of uh, commercial real estate as well. Yeah. So I think that's interesting that you kind of understand both aspects. You got the insurance side of it, and you understand the sales and, and the valuation yeah. side of it. Uh, and you've actually done uh, what two or three successful commercial deals yeah. so far for me this year. Yeah. So I've been real tickled with your work as well. Yeah, well, I appreciate that. Well, it, it just seems like a like an area where I can go really deep so like i i you know maybe i don't i don't want five thousand commercial clients right i'd really like to have about 80 to 100 of them that i know really well i know the ins and the outs of their business mm -hmm. i know when they need to you know like hey i noticed you've got 12 employees you know since we talked last year you know you had a lot of growth you know is that building going to be enough for you are you looking for more space right. uh, so i feel like it's kind of a, a natural avenue for somebody who already trust you with the like hey you know what my payroll is you know what our gross revenue is you know if you can just kind of already confide in that person who takes care of that like it seems like a natural fit uh, yeah it's and and vice versa if i'm hopefully if it's somebody that's you know a business owner needs some commercial property yeah then yeah, i'd love to take a look at the insurance too so well it's like some of the buildings that, that we looked at together i mean yeah. you could you could not only help me with the commercial real estate side right. of it but you could also tell me kind of what that's going to be a problem with the right. insurance that's not you know what yeah what are some of the things i need to be thinking about for my insurance and my growth right. so no i think it's a complete package and it's, yeah. it's a really good really good thing so 2024 is right around the corner what's yeah. what's your goes oh man uh, one of my goals is to get more disciplined with my time. Yeah. I want to, I want to be, feel like I'm in control of my schedule again. Yeah. Um, it's been kind of, there's been a lot going on, a lot of, uh, moving parts and, and it's been good. It's all, all good. 
problems to have and you know, I'm sure you're the same way. Growth pains. Yeah, yeah. It's better than shrinking pains. <laughs> That's <yeah>. right. <laughs> or hunger pains, I guess. Hunger pains. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, yeah, so that that's kind of one of my big goals. We've got some production numbers, but really uh, the other thing is kind of empowering the my my team. Mm -hmm. Is uh, that's something where I can lean into the leadership thing and, and do a better job making sure they've got what they need to succeed and that they, you know, you know, have the same. We we have a I call them our alignment meetings mm -hmm. you know, once a month. Make sure everybody's kind of on the same page, and that's been real helpful. Getting some perspective and you know making sure that we're all you know, stick to the, the company values and everybody's just in it together. And everybody's that's, heading that's, yeah. same direction. Yeah. And that, <clears throat> those have been, those have been valuable. So I'm excited for, for our team this year. We just kind of did our 2024 goals and, you know, met with everybody. And I always like to see like, what do they want? What do they need? And mm -hmm. then how can I help you get those? And that, that, that was, that was exciting. So. Yeah. It's really a blessing to be able to be in a position where you can help others achieve yeah. their goals. And yeah. if you help them achieve your goals, you're going to achieve yours. Yeah. And yeah. that's kind of the same role I'm in. You know, yeah. I've, I've not quit selling real estate, but I've spent more time helping others sell real estate. Right. And, and uh, it's rewarding. You yeah. know, you, you can only do so much of the same thing so long you get burnt out on it. And that's what I was seeing. I was like, man, I've sold a ton of houses. Right. It's hard to get excited about it again, you know. But watching others get that first deal or second deal yeah. or me to go, that, that, that's where it's at. Like, yeah. that fires me up. That's good. Uh, and I'm so glad you're a part of our company because I see you, you know, leading in the right ways. And you're going to implement some of that with our people along the way um, and just helping us with, with insurance, this, that, and other. You know, it's, yeah. it's really good having you on the team. So I appreciate you coming and joining us with, on the real estate side as well. Yeah. Um, how's the wife and family? I know you, you, you getting ready to go, uh, oh, yeah. do all the Christmas stuff. Oh yeah. We're, we're ready. We're ready. If we can just, uh, you know, keep, uh, keep him uh, out of the presence. You know, <laughs> my, my son, he's starting to get into things and he yeah. can some presents at grandma's house. And so, but uh, no, we're excited. We, I think we're, we're ready and have a lot. Of, we've got it spaced out this year. I feel like with the, this side of the family, that side of the family. So We'll be celebrating Christmas for about a week and a half, I feel like. We'll be working out for two or three weeks just to get off that yeah. first dinner. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yep. Um, any big plans for holiday travels? No. Uh, we've got some, you know, maybe in the February, March, some some spring kind of things planned. But uh, we we our family lives all pretty close, so we're going to stay in the area and, you know, take it easy. That makes it nice. Yeah. yeah I, uh, my wife's family, they're in um, – Washington oh, state. Wow. So some That's Christmases beautiful. we see them. Sometimes we go out there, they come here. Sometimes we don't see each other at all, but yeah, I wish they lived a little closer. That'd be nice <laughs> that traveling. Us. Yeah. So, um, with the insurance, do you see, you know, I've, I've had a lot of problems at, uh, with roofs here lately mm. and, and getting that kind of stuff covered. I guess the insurance companies are really having to pull back just with all the hurricanes and, and such. What do you see, you know, insurance in the future, um, any big concerns, anything we should be looking out for, any, anything you could advise our clients to, to help them along the way? Yeah. What would be great is if we just have a good weather year. This yeah. Year. <laughs> yeah. That'd be great. <laughs> um, yeah. So there, there has definitely been some, some tightening up on underwriting. <clears throat> I'll give a couple examples. There's uh, one company that we write with, they sent out a memo and this is probably the most extreme case of it, but they said, Hey, if, if there's a home with a roof that's older than 10 years old, we're not going to write that that home at all. Wow. And if it is 10 years or newer, our minimum wind hail deductible is $2,500. So I think you'll have to, you, you'll see more of this. And I would say that's kind of like a, um, like a beware kind of thing. Mm -hmm. If you've got a home policy, you're going to want to look at your roof and make sure that it's replacement cost. Okay. Um, if the companies, a lot of times they'll do actual cash value, which depreciates that roof. So if it's a you know fifteen year old roof, you might lose three quarters of value. Yeah, exactly. And then a separate deductible. So you might have a we'll have a thousand dollar deductible in my home, but oh, wind and hail twenty five hundred or you know one percent of what my home's covered for four hundred thousand dollar home. That's a four thousand dollar deductible. Oh man. So those are just some things that are are those are very common. Like even before this, you know, 
that we'd see a lot of policies that we review for people and be like, hey, your wind hail deductible is this. Also, you've got actual cash value on your roof here. So those are things to look out for before, but even more so, I think, coming potentially from the carriers, maybe they're going to, instead of it being, we'll offer that replacement cost, maybe they don't even offer it after. Right, they so, drop it. Yeah. So just, wow. you know, kind of be be diligent, I guess, on your home policy. Um, that's our biggest thing. We don't like surprises and we don't want to call and say, oh, I know you thought you had this, but you don't. So, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, you know, that's something that we're happy to review for you. And well, and sure. I think that's the difference Yeah, with, with your, you know, small town home business yeah. kind of a deal right here local. I can come in and I can see, I can sit down and say, you know, here's what I got, man. Yeah. What, what do I really need to look out for? What, how much insurance do I need? Some yeah. of it's not really needed. Is there, you know, if I pick up an umbrella, does it save me here or there? Yeah. Uh, and that's what I like about it. Because so many of us, this we just need to get insurance. We need yeah. to get a car covered. We need to get our home covered. You know, our clients are out here. They're, they're buying homes. They, first-time buyers especially. Yeah. You know, the homeowner's insurance. It's yeah. new to them. And they're just calling, calling these national guys. They're giving yeah. them a quote. They're really not telling them what it is. Right. And I really would suggest that if, you, if you're in that position where you're thinking about getting insurance or switching, like get a hold of Daniel, get a hold of yeah. these guys that can sit down, take the time with you and go through everything. At least you'll walk away knowing what you have and feel good about the insurance you purchased rather than, well, I bought insurance. It was the cheapest in town, but yeah. You know if I'm covered or not. And, and you don't usually know until <laughs> until something not. happens. Yeah, yeah. Then you see the fine print. Exactly. It's exactly. highlighted at that point. <laughs> exactly. Well, and, and that's what I'll say with personal and commercial. We're very educational based. And our approach is, hey, here's what it is. Here's what you have. This is exactly what this covers. This is why you might want this. But I want you to be able to make that decision. Right. And not after the fact, be like, oh, yeah, I could have had this covered, but we didn't talk about it. Right. You Oops. Know? And then, you know, on the on the commercial side, it's especially, but, you know, if, if you're a business owner, you don't have time. It doesn't mm -hmm. make sense for you to be an insurance expert. You, as a business owner, leverage is important. So why not leverage us as part of your insurance team? Like, you don't have right. to be the professional. You, that That's where we come in. And that's what... I'll tell our commercial clients, like, hey, think of us as part of your team now. So if it's insurance related, hey, we're going to check in on you quarterly, semi-annual, how often how often you need it. You know, right. If you're in high growth, maybe we need to talk to you every monthly. Month. Yeah. Right. So, you know, that's that's kind of where we kick in and then avoid those surprises. You know, we've had a, give a couple scenarios here. We've talked to some people mm -hmm. and we've looked at their at their payroll. So premium is based on the payroll that they have. And we're like, hey, <laughs> this number doesn't match up. So you, here's what to anticipate at the end of the year. They're going to audit that and right. they're going to get that money. Yes, because it's usually audited a year. Yeah. You're paying a year in arrears on that insurance. Yeah. And then when it's audited, it's due in full. You yeah. can't break it up in a monthly. And <laughs> how'd, that, how'd that happen? Yeah. How'd so, that happen? So that's, yeah. So that's why we're, you know, we're proactively like, so we don't like surprises. We mm -hmm. want to say, hey, this is kind of what the, you know, if we're checking in on that quarterly, we can catch that and say, right. hey, we need to adjust this to spread that up, you know, through the year so you don't get that big surprise at the end. So, yeah. I, you know, and I learned in business, I used to try to do everything myself. Yeah. I was the expert of everything. And, right. and at some point, you run out of time you do. and energy and you realize, those guys might know a little more than me. Yeah. How about I put them on my team? Yeah. You know, and, and you're exactly right. Like, get the right people on your team, your accountant, your attorney, your insurance guy, whatever, your real estate agent. Like, get the right people on your team, and then you can focus on what you do best, and yeah. those guys will keep take you take care of you in the background. So that I think that's great advice for our clients. I, absolutely. I heard an analogy. They were a football analogy. They said, hey, if you're the quarterback – and you don't have your linemen. Your linemen are your attorneys, your insurance, and your tax. I said, you're just going to get clobbered. You're going to get crushed. Need, yeah. So, so if you're out on that field, which is business or you know mm -hmm. your life, finance is life, and you don't have that offensive line, it's it's you're going to get sacked. Yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> and it's usually in your checking book. That's your right. Your checking account. That's right. So, yep. well, Daniel, if somebody's interested in talking to you about insurance mm -hmm. or real estate. What's the best way to get a hold of you? Yeah, you can reach uh, at my team at innovatorins.com. You can go to our website, innovatorsinsurance.com. Uh, you can give us a call at our office, 812-252-4419. Uh, that's going to be the best way to get a hold of us. Um, and you can reach me at daniel at innovatorins.com. Awesome. Happy to help. Find us online, and uh, yeah, I'm happy to chat with anybody. Yeah.
check him out. Like I say, I've I've uh, trusted him with you know some of my clients, and I've had nothing but really great success and good reviews from you. So I really appreciate you taking care of our people. Yeah. Thank you. So, well, we've got one more episode before Christmas, and uh, we're going to be into twenty twenty four. Crazy if to think about. Yeah, I, it's it's. Uh, I don't know. These last two weeks, you know, yeah. we're what December twelfth, thirteenth, right now. I don't even know what day it is. Other yeah. than it, well, I know what day it is, but I don't know what date it is. I run like that. It just seemed like I run until somebody says, "Hey, you got to take a vacation or, or it's holidays," yeah. where I go, "Oh crap, I forgot my wife's present." <laughs> 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 then I'm in trouble. <laughs> right, right. That's awesome. So, yeah, I, I'm I'm excited about 2024 yeah. and what it's got to. And, uh, out there for all of us, it's it's going to be exciting. It's going to be election year, so who knows, yeah. right? Like yeah. who knows which way it's going to go. And but I think it's going to be good. Um, yeah. We're we're really uh, really looking for a good year in real estate. Yeah. And I think these home prices are they're going to continue to go up a little bit. Uh, but the interest rates are going to come down. Then the, then the home prices are going to go up some more right. when the rates go down. So uh, if you're out there looking for insurance or home, now's the time while everybody else is asleep. Yeah. So. For more local real estate information, please like and subscribe to the Jeremy Ward Team YouTube channel.